What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV. As always, my name's Nate. And on today's episode, we're on another duck hunt. I got Taylor with me. I got Gary with me. So I've been off all week. So the last few days, I've been I've been babysitting these birds over here. You got some uh, bunch of grays, bunch of teal, spoonbills, and a few mallards mixed in. It's a pretty pretty decent sized pond. It's full of widgeon grass, and uh, it just got a lot of birds. It's just, it's just a lot of birds. They're stirred up right now. They're flying all around. It's about to crack daylight here. We got just a few more minutes till shooting time. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's a good shoot. We got three minutes to shooting time. We got ducks all over us. Look at these two. Teal and a decoy. It's probably the most beautiful blue winged drake you ever seen in your life. Dude, you ought to see the one that Zach shot the other day. Oh my God. All right, let's kneel. Are we kneeling down or what? Yeah. You're hunting on our knees? <laughs> Look at these right here. Taylor got two of them. All right, two teal. This is gonna happen fast. This teal shoot is gonna happen fast. Hey, look. Maybe these two. That yeah, one on the left, Taylor. See that one That one about to come in on the left? Well, never mind. I think it's just going to keep on going. Yeah. Two big ducks on top. I think it's model ducks. It's model ducks. Oh shoot! Jesus. Are we shooting or what? Yeah, shoot if, if you want it. If you want to kill one, I think Gary got that one, huh? I might look, 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 watch, watch. Can't even see it. That was green heads? You think that was green heads? Sweet. I wasn't sure if it was model ducks. I'm glad, I'm glad you noticed it. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Dude, you stroked that thing off the front of your barrel. I couldn't see that thing, dude. When it when it came across the grass, I couldn't even see it. I just guessed. <laughs> yeah. Green head? Let me see that duck, Gary. Sweet, man. Badass. The other one was a hen. I shot one of them too. Yeah, I didn't want to take that shot. I destroy him. Hey, about to be in the deep. Yeah. Hey, look in the deeks, Gary. Shoot that duck in the decoys. Too far, too far. Oh, three spoonies. And three teal, right there too. So. Boom bills are the decoy good. <laughs> Where's the grays at? Gary, here you go. What we got? Gary. Oh, I thought you were my bad. I think it's about time I shoot a duck. I've been filming. <laughs> right here. here you go, Nate. You ready? Yep. Kill him. Come on, on your side. Sweet. I'm almost there. Well, so you got five, huh? Oh, uh, I got four. Why four? do you hurt us to me? 
about to have five. Unless you want to kill him. Snipe this one right here. All right, shoot. All right. I can't hit him that close. I ain't even gonna try. Oh snap! Spoonie's up top. Just <laughs> look right out front. I should have the modified in for this hunt. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Good. 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 Hey, they got a teal on the water to you, to you right, Gary. Crack it. Every time. We got Get so many ducks around us, it's hard to even. I'm done. You done? Yeah. <laughs> you want a video? Yeah, give me a camera. Yeah. Look at that one. <laughs> Them ducks are just trying to get the heck out of Dodge right now. God dang. I only hit one. <laughs> it's all good. <sighs> Had to break the ice, you know? Sitting there watching ducks. <laughs> By the time I pull the trigger. Oh my gosh. Kill him, boy. There you go. Danger. I got two cripples in the decoys. Yeah, yeah, the graze just, just non-existent now all of a sudden. Dude, I shot like two foot to the right of one of them teal just now. I'm just glad we cleaned house and got all of them out. Yeah, not yeah. Well, y'all did. Y'all did. I seen that big duck, them big duck. Oh my lord. What are, what are the big ducks doing? All right. Here. Here. All right, there they are. I can't do nothing with that. Nah, I ain't shooting over your head like that. They like five feet from me. Ah, I can't do nothing with that. Right in the front. Right up front. Hey, shoot that cripple. Hands. Hands. Ah. Good girl. So I need uh three more. Yeah, I see him. Gary. Oh, these two, Gary. Kill him. Kill him, Gary. Good shot. Yeah, he's right there. He should be on mud or something, huh? She saw it. God dang. God dang. All right. Who? He's on the water. Got it that thing's toast. I think dodged it on the first one, the second one. Clean, miss. First one and the second one. First one and the second one, son. <laughs> hey, bro. These toast, though. Here. You could have brought it to him as his dog. Beautiful green one. Give. Hey, here. Hey, here. What? She wore out? <laughs> she wore out, buddy. She's had a, she's had a busy, uh, a busy. Couple Look at these teal. Look at these. Ski. Good girl. That's a fine blue wing. Blue yeah. I'm gonna test out your gun for the last, the last bird, Taylor. 
Let's see what this old 20 gauge is about. Let's see. Come on, come in, son bitch. Get up one. Sweet. Free man limit. Sun just cracking over the horizon. What you think about that, Gary? For your first duck hunt of the year. Hey, you can't beat it with a stick. <laughs> Not too shabby. Anytime you got green. I had y'all to do the scouting for me. All I had to do was hop in the boat and come out of it. <laughs> That's what good friends are for. That's what I'm talking No doubt. Look at these right here. It's a good duck hunt, Gary. <laughs> Sometimes you wish it lasted just a little bit longer. That was a quick, quick three man limit right there. What a hunt. What do we do now? Now we just stand around with our fingers on our butt, like, hi, what do we do with the rest of our day now? What do you do now? Yeah. Nah. Uh, Morgans are flying right there. That's additional. They had a whole bunch of coots in here. Before daylight, they ain't a coot one. Them coots got the heck out of Dodge as soon as all the shooting started. <laughs> Along with all the gadwall. I've, I've been babysitting gadwall the last three days in this hole. We ain't seen the first one. Once the shooting started, gone. Luckily, we had a trio of mallards come through to be able to give us a, a few big ducks. Big old green heads, too. Big old green heads. Let's see if I can get it in the sun here. Big old green heads. Potentially be somebody's pet. We're not 100% sure, but you know, usually you don't have 10 pound green heads come in on you, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't think any duck hunter in Louisiana would have passed them. <laughs> no, I'm not passing up on green heads. Yeah. Came to the wrong state, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Let me go over there and see what, uh. this is yours right here, Gary. Got my you got your two? Okay, this is Taylor's. Go over there and see what you work you working with over there. It's a big old hen, boy. Yeah, it is. That's a big hen. I never get over how big they are. Dude, they're that much bigger than everything else. I know, I know, it's amazing. It's hey, like you forget. Like you you say they don't get this big, bro, but they got some big mouths. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I always forget how big they actually are know, just because we don't shoot that many of them. They're huge, man. They'll dwarf a great up. <laughs> that thing got some BBs in it, head. I already know, bro. <laughs> you gonna plug that thing? I might not be able to eat it. Yeah, you smoked that thing at, like, two yards. Not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. In South Louisiana, it don't get a whole lot better than that. No. Public land, South Louisiana. No. I don't think a hunt gets any better than that. I mean, it'd be nice to have about five or six grays in this 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 too, but I mean, hey, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Four feet. I know. <laughs> I know, dude. I, there was so many times like I didn't like, shoot. It seemed like there was like handcuffing. <laughs> Dude, they were. Like, there was so many times I was aiming, and I'm like, that's just too close. I'm not, if I hit it, I'm going to destroy it. I got to wait for them to get out there a little bit. Yeah. I should have just used the modified, but I really thought it was going to be a great duck shoot, and I thought we was going to be shooting 30 yards, 40 yards up in the air. Got to try out my new uh, hand-carved model duck decoys today from my buddy Wiles. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Old school, bro. Old school. <laughs> Drop the dime in the box and raise your bottle To all the clever advice I'll never follow This shit is no
right, you guys, I just now made it back to the house. I'd say that was a really awesome hunt. That's one that I'm gonna remember for a really long time. I love getting out with Taylor and Gary. I, th I think uh, I think whenever I get with those two guys, we're kind of like a like a well-oiled machine. You know those guys that you hunt with where like everything just seems to go smooth because everybody's on the same page. It's always like that whenever I get with those two guys. So I really do enjoy my time in the blind spent with those guys. But yeah, like I had said, for like three days, I had been watching those ducks and going check on them every morning. When I first spotted them, when I first found the birds, it was a lot less ducks. Um, they're pretty much just spoonies and teal. And I was keeping an eye on them. It was, a, it was a good amount of birds. It was enough to keep me interested. And then yesterday, we had a huge push. At night with that full moon, we must have had a bunch of birds showed up. They got some big water over there. Those birds must have came in, migrate, and hit that big water, and they sat there. And then right at daybreak, I was watching, and they all just got up and dispersed, and they just went into all the ponds around. And uh, they had flocks of like 50 and 60 gadwall just pouring into the pond that we hunted today. And uh, so basically, I knew it was going to be a good shoot. I really thought it was going to be a gadwall shoot for the most part, but it ended up being a teal shoot, which is fine with me. We ended up getting a few bonus mallards as well. So that's always fun. We don't usually shoot a lot of mallards down here in South Louisiana anymore. That's kind of a thing of the past. So anytime we can get some green, it's always an awesome bonus birds. But yeah, I had a really good time today and I'd really appreciate it if you guys left this video a comment, leave it a like, you know, any way that y'all want to interact with the channel really helps the algorithm. It really helps to get these videos some momentum where we get some good views. At the end of the day, the more that you guys can do for me, the more revenue that we're able to generate through ads, the more quality videos and the more videos that I'm able to provide to you guys. And that's the ultimate goal is to provide you guys with as much content as I possibly can. So I really appreciate the support that we've been getting. It means the world to me. And right now it's duck season and duck season is our bread and butter. This is really, you know, Fall and Tide is really a duck hunting brand. You know, I do a lot of fishing and other activities in the off season, but ultimately we're a duck hunting brand. We're a duck hunting YouTube show and I plan on really growing that. So like I said, I really been appreciating the support that y'all been giving us. Continue to do that because the more y'all do that, the more good videos we can give you guys. With that being said, we're gonna wrap up the video right there. I really appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV. Riddle.